Yo, what's good? We just finished at the gym. No sign anymore. None to be seen. But we know where it's at. We got the traffic circle over here. Little Soltawi supermarket. But we are headed. All right. A little quieter once you get past the circle. Going to street food stall that I pretty much go to every day. On my way back from the gym or on the way back from work. I try to spread it around guys as far as the places I shop at. Street food stalls anyways, that's pretty much all I eat. Like the local market right next to where I live. It is a little bit more expensive, which is a given. They have to pay to rent the spot. I still shop there just to support support them, but I also come here a lot too. So you're gonna see a hungry man's dream here. So my plan is grab some item. Usually. I stop here and I get some of these, but I'll come here another day and show you guys because that's my favorite snack here. I eat them every day. Well, actually, what do you mean? I'm gonna come back and buy some after I get some food here. We got the bananas that are grilled and filled with shredded coconut fresh coconut guys and the coconut is mixed together with probably lots of sugar and, and whatnot I know it's got like a little sweet almost caramel type of sauce but I think it's just like the standard namwan or whatever that, that they put on in a lot of stuff here but man it's it's my my favorite healthy mostly healthy dessert This is where I come every day for this stuff. Yang yang you ball. Yang yang the hong So prefer the beef or if she has fish. This is a meat salad guys. But it's it's incredible. This is the meal I'd have before I died. I'm telling you right now, if you can hear me. This is it. My go-to staple for Lao Isan food. Let's take a look at what we got in here. Okay, we got some liver. All this stuff is absolutely delicious. <laughs> As I say that, you guys want some uh, I can't remember what it's called in English. Larva. Lodun. Lodun. Man, that's good. Good stuff. Guys. This is a... Uh, it's like hope. No, mine, bro. So it's got the moo in it. It's got pork in it. So, this is another favorite of mine. Okay. Okay. So good. Mm. Sometimes she puts duck in it. Ooh, blow your mind. Uh, standard. In my mind. Good stuff too. We got some fish. Mama in there. I'll have to buy some stuff and show you guys properly one of these days because this is this is where my love is for Lao man. Or the beginning of the beginning, the middle and end. <laughs> the 
best food in the world. I'll see how I'm there. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off so it's not in the face. But actually, I need to get my phone out. And this is how we pay. And everybody thought this was a third world country. Honestly, I haven't used anything like this since my days in China. Even though I'm sure it existed everywhere else, but you know. It's all set up with the bank account. You just scan and go. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Man. I just got all kinds of stuff here. I'll introduce you guys properly to everything, but you got jerkies and sausages. You got your fried chicken, fried pork. These are, it says duck, 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 something. Usually there's duck and there's brain and uh, there's uh, bamboo, a bunch of different ones, but basically they put the ingredients inside of this palm leaf, or wait, it's not palm leaf, banana leaf and then they steam it. This one in particular, wow, another one I'm gonna have to buy and introduce to you because it's a, it's a flavor that I've never tasted in any other Lao food. It's really shocking, it's creamy. It's shocking. It's creamy like, I don't even know, almost like a European dish type of creamy. It's really incredible. All right. Let's get on the move. And then I come over to the next stall and I get a fish. Well, usually I like to get catfish because it's the cheapest one and it's nice and salty and oily. It feels really, feel really healthy eating it. This other one is uh, tilapia, I'm pretty sure. I think it's Nigaman Panin. Tilapia. This one's incredible guys, if you see inside, they stuffed it with herbs and spices. The flavor is just fresh as can be. But this one is usually like 70 cents, 50 to 50 cents. And then that one will be like about 50, two bucks. So. This stuff. Look at that chicken covered in spices. You got more fish up here. I never tried those. It's small and I'm worried about a bunch of bones. We'll have to try it. You got the beef, grilled beef. Oh boy. And then pork, liver, sausages. Here we go. We're getting some catfish. Yeah, boy. starving. Let's wait for this. It takes a second. I'll be right back. All right. We've got lunch. 15,000 for La Moa beef salad and then also another 10,000 for the catfish for a whopping total, 25,000, which is about $1.50. I might have some more eggs with that. I don't think it's gonna be enough, but now we're back to the item to get my favorite dessert, my favorite snack. I usually eat these before the gym, but we'll grab them. If I'm in the mood, I'll have some. I've been eating them every day, so I'm not really in the mood. But I want to show you guys. I'll sit panda. I told her I'll take 10,000 worth, which is like usually five. Five grilled bananas with sweet shredded coconut. Oh. 
absolutely incredible. She usually gives me a free one because I come here Monday to Friday. Today is Friday, September 1st. So actually, yeah, good to get some and then might have some left over for tomorrow. skills were less than par there I have my backpack I'm trying to get cash out not everybody takes one pay still you know a lot of the people that are selling from the side of the road in these little carts or they've stopped their truck no, these are just like farmers and local people. They still just work with cash. So and some people have it already, but a lot of them, like this lady up here, I was gonna buy some from Nyai from her the other day, but I had no cash. So let's get some in. Support her today. Suswe, suswe. Nani ka mingan sot. Masu $20,000 per kilo. Lumia is in season. Oh, it's a guy here today instead of a lady, but I'm sure they're the same family. See if I can work the camera, grab this money, I put my bag again. See if I give him a 50, we'll have change. I'm gonna put all this stuff in my bag. What am I doing? Boom. going everywhere but we're all right okay. Okay. I have so many things I want to film for my memories I've been here six months I've been wanting to film since the day I arrived I filmed some here and there but I finally feel like hey let's do our die time we gotta do this we gotta do this I'm so grateful to be here it's absolutely a dream come true and yeah nobody could possibly know how much I've always wanted to be here this is my degree guys, I studied my bachelor's degree. Was in Asian studies, a humanities degree, Bachelor of Arts. Studied all about the economy, the lots and lots of history classes, all about Asia. I petitioned to do an emphasis on Southeast Asia, which they agreed to. So I had, an, I did an emphasis on this air, region specifically. There wasn't as many classes available, so I had to substitute a lot of those classes for just uh, Far East classes, so China, China, so I really enjoyed that, love, love that, love China, love Chinese, the language, speak it, learning it, so anyway, back to Lao. If anybody ever was laying in bed or laying around studying as a college student, dreaming of what their life was going to be like, I'll tell you this, one million percent honest truth. 
I dreamed of being in this region, specifically Thailand or Laos. That's where I've been fascinated with since the first time I ever came. Very long time ago. So we're here. And it's been the most incredible six months so far. I do feel guilty though because there's so many cool things that I've not filmed. But at the same time, hey, you gotta, this is not easy. It's very awkward to me. How do you stay in the moment if you're filming? But I'm just gonna try. We'll do our best. I'm sure we'll get better at it. I'm positive this is what I need to do. Hey, and all we're, all we're here to do is show what has put a smile on my face and kept me absolutely fascinated and wanting to learn more and wanting to be a better person, you know? I'm here, I'm happy, I just wanna be a better version of myself each day corny as that may sound this is my happy place and I just want to share that with everybody maybe you'll see something you've never seen before hopefully it'll make you smile enough of me talking so this is what I'm talking about guys if you come to these places this is directly from the farm these guys off the side of the road. That's gonna be your cheapest option for any products. Cheaper than the supermarket, cheaper than the local market. I'm actually on the hunt for a rotisserie chicken place because I'm obsessed. It's just so savory after a workout. There's just nothing better than some grilled chicken and spicy sauce uh, I don't know if I want to call it sauce or salsa because people might understand better you know in Lao there's a thing there's a sauce a salsa if you will I, I like to compare it to a salsa better because people have seemed to understand it more clearly there's a lot of different kinds of salsas And the salsa that comes, the sauce that comes with the grilled chicken can differ from cellar to cellar. But each one is, uh, oh, it's spi spicy and incredible. But this place that uh, I usually go to every, <laughs> I say every day, I'm eating these whole chicken every day almost. Kind of ridiculous huh but after the gym it's just perfect this is only about three dollars this is where i came and set up my bank account believe it or not there's a b-cell branch right in here and once you can once you got a work permit you can set up your account which then has the payment option for all these qr codes that everybody has Yeah, day in the life for the most part. I didn't really plan this to be day in the life. But here we are. Walk and talk, day in the life. I'm glad to do this though. I've never eaten at these places to be honest. Milk tea, milk tea. These are all little chains that you see everywhere. These little kiosks. Uh, why am I here? I wasn't gonna get a chicken, but I showed you the rotisserie chicken. Jesus. 
I'm so used to getting chicken here. <laughs> I stopped. I already have my food. Another guy selling. Like, even these guys that'll come put their stands like right outside the market are usually cheaper than the sellers in the market, which is kind of it stinks because you want to just you want to support your lo local shops. And then you go into the market and the price isn't even as good as the sellers on the street. I think I have everything I need. I don't know why I'm wandering. Well, I do know I. I had a bunch of coffee this morning <laughs> and anticipating a big workout and then making this video. I love to get out for a walk. It's hard to find anybody that wants to just explore and that's what's always drawn me to Lao. It is the last raw traditional but maybe Myanmar I haven't been but it's still very raw. I don't understand if it's like oh it's not walkable, it's not this that either. That's the, whole, that's the whole point we're coming here to get away from the paved everything the cement everywhere you look the buildings everywhere the, to be more in nature and ha have the dirt paths and have the jungle right there at your doorstep like that's why i'm here it's still raw and traditional and people they're still discovering new new things here all the time that's how much, that's how raw it is in the, in the dense jungle areas so for me as someone that was reading books about people growing up in this region and imagining what it was like this is where it's at for me this is like what you would you read the books and then people still living and very soon we're obviously not as much here in Vientiane City, but still can't wait to get out into the provinces and just talk to people. You know, I really do enjoy giving people an opportunity to speak English that maybe otherwise wouldn't ever have that. More so than go to a class full of people in some office you know I, like students are great in both situations but I'd love to get out of the city and teach some classes out in the provinces do some just get out there figure out ways to to help people and see this country this beautiful beautiful country Beautiful home. Guys, you hot bad now. We're almost home, guys. Of course, we've got some music going. It's Friday, September 1st. So excited to be able to film. And, oh, so lady. Okay, Lady, feeling good. Back home, gonna get some food to eat that we bought, and then I gotta go get some some gym clothes. I think I'll take you guys along. Lunch is served. We got our catfish, a lot more, and then bananas. Look at the presentation of the banana leaf on the bottom. We got our banana nicely grilled. Boom, open that up. Oh, I gotta take a bite just because you gotta, you gotta be careful because if it's hot, it's too hot. You gotta let it cool down a bit. And then you're gonna have some sauce coming out. So you gotta do a little slurpy slurp. Mmm. <laughs> Never fails. And then my landlord came with some what do you call it sealant 
Yes, sir. Some grout for the bathroom. Because it's like the bathroom right here. I'm in the house. My little farmhouse. Got to fix this thing up real quick. Because every time I shower, ooh, water is coming out of the bathroom. Got to see owl. Gao. Masai. Mohai nam lai ok ma. Yeah, hen bo. Nam ka lai ok ma lai. Lai pot. Am nam tu. Tu dai ka tong. Ma anamai. Mun mun. Mun lai. Ui, pun. Pun bad ni. Big rao ka. Mun sud nyot. When a floor like this gets wet. Floor out here, the tile. Woo, gotta be careful. Been, it's been six months like that, so just having to clean it every time I shower and then dry it out. Otherwise, you're slipping and cracking your head, man. Luckily, it never happened, but let's eat. Okay, just finished some lunch. Listening to this Lao folk story, or what do we call them, a fable? What are the popular ones in... Uh, English culture and our culture. Aesop, what's his name? The fables. You know, <clears throat> there's a lot of fables in our culture as well. I've been listening to Sing Mian. <clears throat> I also have the book reading that as well, but I didn't even know this was real. I thought all these, like these folk stories, a lot of them I thought they were just spoken, like passed on from generation to generation. And I don't think I really realized that these were actually written down and books sold so as soon as I saw that when I got here I immediately bought one anyway <clears throat> that was enjoyable finished four to seven chapters now let's take this little mare or red mare over here little red mare oh how I love you <laughs> this bike this little red mare needs a washing so take over to get a wash, 15,080 cents. Then we'll head over to BT Sports, grab some sports clothes, and then we'll be back here to get cleaned up for the pate. Get back inside, boy. Open. And we're off. First, let's close the gate. Bam. One-handed driving. Good. We need to get a setup for the motorcycle here. All the stuff I'm filming, you can tell me it sucks if you want. You can tell me you like it or what you'd like to see. That'd be awesome. that'd be nice. But I'm honestly just filming what I've enjoyed watching in the past. Or from other vloggers, YouTubers that were living in other countries because for me, I've always found that just incredibly interesting what experiencing life in another country culture is like. So yeah, I've followed a lot of different YouTubers over the years, living in various continents, countries all over the world. And I enjoyed the simple everyday life videos the most, you know, walk and talk, what it looks like from driving a motorcycle around or a car, everything about experiencing life in a different place. So that's what I'm filming because honestly, there's, there's not a lot of information for Lao either when I was over the however many years, 15 years, that I've been trying to learn about Lao, find information about Lao. It's only been up until recently that there was actually any YouTubers with any kind of experience living in the country. You know, there's been plenty of the same old tourist documentaries, tourist vlogs, you know, people just traveling through the country, same old stuff that is just, I enjoy those vlogs, I enjoy those too, I can't talk shit on those either, so 
because I watched a lot of those and I, I really I really really enjoy traveling and experience experiencing different places however hot now hot now hot now I love my land there. Giving, giving this little red mare a wash. Fifteen thousand, I'm pretty sure it was last time. I didn't even ask. It's not even a buck. It's like ninety cents. The lady. The lady. <laughs> uh, she's looking for some money, she said, for the motorcycle washing change for him. She's always chatty with me, and to me, the daily life stuff is the most interesting. What do you think? You tell me. Let me know what you guys want to see. There will be plenty of things to see, don't worry. I haven't bored you guys with my language obsession yet, so just you eight. ตั้งโลเคชั่นนะครับก็พาไปแล้วนะนะเนาะเซโลเคชั่นเนาะไปไปรับแขกพวกนึงนี่ครับแขกเกาหลีไปหาอาหารนั่นทานอาหารนี่
มันเหม็นเขาไอ้เครื่องไงเนาะปุ๋ยปุ๋ยปุ๋ยมันปุ๋ยขนาดสุกก็ยังปุ๋ยแล้วว่าว่าสุกข้าวเนาะปุ๋ยขี่แล้วขี่ปุ๋ยเหม็นขี่เหม็นขี่ขี่งัวเออเพียบเอาลาบเพียบเอาเด้ไปกินลาบก็กินลาบธรรมดาเด้อเจ้ากับบอไซกันบอไซบอไซไม่อันนี้ท่านมาบุกกินเพียแล้วเขาเอิญมาต้อยต้อยนาวไซเออบีมันนาวไซเออมึงนาวไซเขาเอิญต้อยแล้วเขาบุกเอิญลาบเขาเอิญต้อยเขาเอิญต้อยกันเออกินได้คือกินกินได้เออลาบแล้วไซเพียมีเมนไอ้คือขี้เป็นยังขี้เขาได้ว่าบอสุภาพเด้อเออขี้เพียบอกขี้เพียบขี้เพียบขี้เพียบเออแต่มันก็ใส่เพียบน้อยๆก็ยังกินได้อยู่ไปยักมิ้นไปมากกว่าจะบอกมากเท่าไหร่ก็จะบอกมากมิ้นขี้มิ้นขี้เออเจ้ามาลงเจ้าเราเอาตรงตรงแล้วตรงตรงแล้วคอยบอมคอมเขาตรงตรงได้ไหมต้องอมคอมดอกบอมอย่างไรบอมตรงใส่รถกระหัวมาดิจะซีเรียกันบดีว่าตรงๆเออว่าตรงๆเนาะปุ๋ยก็ปุ๋ยขี้ก็ขี้มันก็ขี้งอนเนาะมัวมันขี้คนเนี่ยบอกไว้บอกไว้เจ้ายุ่งพุ่นพ่อแม่เจ้าก็ยังมั้งคะยังอยู่ยังอยู่แต่ว่าเจ้าหันยังมาใส่ชีวิตด้วยสันโตซื่อนั่นล่ะพ่อแม่ก็ใส่ใส่ชีวิตส่วนตัวเออออกมาว่าสิเป็นแบบไรแบบไรซื่อจะออกจะออกล้านนึงอ่ะพ่อยึดต่างประเทศยุ่งพุ่นเขาเขามีคนกินยาบ้าแล้วนี่มีมีหลายมีหลายเป็นแฟนมีไหมโอ้ยคอยไปเฮ็ดคอยคอยไปเที่ยวบอนไดไปไปเฮ็ดเรียกยูบอนไดเลยคือคือกันคือกันมดมีมีคนติดยาบ้าตัวโลกเป็นมดเนาะเป็นมดเดี๋ยวมาปิดแต่ดาวในโบเมนเนาะมันเดี๋ยวนี้กับโลกโลกเฮาส์กับมันโบราณง่ายเนาะมันแต่ละคนแบบแต่ละบอนมันก็คือแฟนเหมือนหางเงี้ยคนติดยาติดยาไงติดยาไงผู้หญิงผู้ชายจะกินมดนะเดี๋ยวนี้ส่วนใหญ่ก็เป็นผู้ชายนะผู้หญิงก็ผู้หญิงก็ไม่ค่อยได้ติดยาบ้าถ้ามีคือกันยุลามีแต่มีมีแต่เท่ากับโบรีหูดอกพอสุกยาเนี่ยน้อยกับสุกยาคนคนเดี๋ยวนี้แบบยาเนี่ยก็คือว่าโตมีนะนะค่อยกับบุ้วามันมันเป็นยังเขาเป็นเป็นก้อมันเลยยาฟ้าสุกไฟฟ้าอะนะเดี๋ยวนี้นะมันมาอะยาเนี่ยอย่าสู้ไฟฟ้านะมันโบมีเป็นเส้นอะไรเอออย่าสู้ไฟฟ้าอ๋อแมนแมนแมนอ๋ออย่าสู้ไฟฟ้านั่นเออเบบเออเดี๋ยวนี้มันมากตัวนั่นแหละเดี๋ยวนี้บอกไปลุ้นน้อยน้อยสิบเอ็ดสิบสองเดี๋ยวนี้ไปลุ้นน้อยน้อยสิบเอ็ดสิบสองปีเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็กน้อยน้อยเด็ก
But I just had a great conversation with this lady. Just sitting there. Every time I go there, we always chat and have a laugh. Good banter. Very typical of Lao. This is why I love this country, man. This is why I love Lao, Thailand. Speaking any of the languages. That, if you speak another language, just more opportunities to have good banter with people. Almost there. Let's see, BT Sports. Saka Sip. Okay. So this is a uh, branch number ten. Wakua. Now I don't know is that the name of this road, but Kua is the bridge. Kua is the head. So like at the head of the bridge, beginning of the bridge. Anyway, let's park. Where we park? already it's not bad people said that this would be a good spot to grab some gym gear hey I can work with that a pair of shorts for like 77 80 thousand that's like five bucks that's the price range when I was back home going to the outlet stores or whatever and I'm always looking for shorts looking for stuff around the ten dollar range or less if possible it's just gonna get ruined you're going to train you're training right you're training hard let's see what we got in here so my D Hong Fusai by Tanda Song Kassan Sia Song Kassan Large. I think I might be hanging out the bottom, guys. <laughs> Let's go with a little bit longer. Nobody wants to have that business in their face at the gym. <laughs> guys I'll have a quick look looks like they have everything here I need some shirts I need some shorts I loving it all right let's get this done not a big shopper well my battery died wasn't able to film as we checked out which is always the interesting get it here Lao and see what how it all works but yeah, I got home and changed the battery at least. I got eight things. Hey, 69,000, man, for a pair of workout shorts. Eight things total, three, three shirt, four, sh four, sh yeah, pants, shirt, and some socks for 30 bucks. I think that's a win.